We don't scroll and pass. So we are what tap. What's up, my people? G9 IQ, GL, I'm here. Let's get to it. We don't scroll and pass. So we are what tap. Okay, so my first question What's your real name and your stage name? Okay, so my real name, Jacob Kofi Echampo. And my stage name is JL, as you already know, JL Baby. <laughs> um, how did you get into music? How did I get into music? I, I always had this this passion for it, like, um, since me, I call that. So I don't really know how, but it's, I see no one how to do it. So I don't really know how I got into the music. It's like something connecting spiritually. So, yep. Yeah. What or who inspires you? So, my dad gives me the biggest inspiration ever. And the industry players, Joey B and EL, really inspire me a lot. And I inspire myself too. And that's it. Hey, celebrity crash. Miss V! I like Miss V, like me. The woman we sit, like, serious. You know, she sits. Miss V be my celebrity crash. Forget everybody. <laughs> Uh, have you ever experienced true love? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. True love exists too, but Charlie, <laughs> the true love you Yes, I don't, I don't feel mention the girl you name, but she knows herself. Then yeah, she knows herself. It's been three years from, from then. So she, had, she showed me true love. Honestly, I really felt it, and she was this close to being part of like my whole true love story world and some things messed it up i don't want to talk about that side but she's good so shout out to you <laughs> high school high school memories um i used to dance way back in high school and i actually saw someone crying down there while i was up on stage dancing and someone was just crying screaming my name and jl she just wants to touch me like Bob. That's one, and they normally call me my crony on the, the basketball field because, like, every time I played, I was that kind of skinny guy. So, is it my boy has to make tough for me, so may call like that? And I, hey, boy, you know, I my crony and I, I saw, and they do me kind like <laughs> I wear the name car for the you know, and then what else? There's so many memories in high school because me, I'll be that like popular kind of guy for school. Because I was a dancer, a, a rapper, I was in the choir and I was conducting the choir. And most people know me to like, I did conduct the choir and I did dance like me. So it was, it was totally plenty. The high school, the high school, in prices in your high. In prices in your high. Could be put top, top, top. That's where they really did. How many songs have you released so far? Hey. No, I know, I know, I know if it counts, but it's not. I don't think it's, it's up to that. No, maybe you did like the 15, 13, the some, something like that. Mm. Um, if you could date any musician, who would it be? Date? Eh, Miss B. Miss B, you know, the woman. I just, I just like, I just like her. Her personality, her looks, maybe from the way I see her from social media, it be me. So I just, she's my crush and all that. Um, if you could, uh, what? If you could have a dinner with a famous person, living or dead, who would you choose? Michael Jackson. Yes. The dead, I would choose Michael Jackson. Because that guy is like a legend. How... How in the hell does he perform on stage for like hours while he's dancing, singing, playing instruments at the same time? You know, like that guy is just like crazy. And then the living, I'll, I'll, I'll really like to speak to Sarkole. Yeah, I'll like to speak to Sarkole because watch it. He's the face of Ghana music, so I mean, everybody would like to talk to me. I like him, I want to talk to Sarkole, yeah. I want to have a dinner with him. If you did not become a musician, oh, I'll, I'll be a dancer. <laughs> I, I would be a dancer, I would be um, a videographer too. And I'll be a producer. I was already, I'm already a producer. But like, I would be a dancer. 
yeah, in the music director or something like that. Yeah. Was there ever a time when you thought about quitting? Oh yes, yes, yes. I've ever thought about quitting music? Like yeah, as strong stuff. And I had to talk to like this very good friend of mine we into actually. I, I can't talk about that side, but if he it's gonna bring me like he brought that spirit up again because like I was thinking of shutting down my studio and like stopping the music for good. I even almost tweeted on Twitter that like thanks for the support everybody. Yeah I'm I'm signing out. I'm no more a musician and all that. And I called him I had to speak to him about that and he's like yo talk to me son it was like two hours three hours call just bringing that spirit up again and he did it just that few hours and he brought it by and i hit back the studio recording every time and this is me now inside greatness mansion is actually you know it's, <laughs> what are you working on musically right now okay so i'm working on bangers only three this year i mean i drop a tape every year for your ears only so i'm working on bangers only three right now them boys in demon this boys in demon witness boys demon uh-huh. and other people i'm still planning on but that's what i'm i'm working on right now yeah what can fans expect from me hey i get fans if you so uh will be on and watch out two out as I say, big things they come. I don't know if you talk all, but musically, you know, if you've been on my snap stories, you're gonna say, No, this guy is like out there doing something like with a chill small, but shall you man do but so I expect more bangers on the three is coming this year. This year, straight up. What do you think makes your music unique? What makes my music unique? My beats and the way I ride on it because like I create I create the beats to suit me. And I know how the beats. I know I know what the beats needs, so I give the beats what the beats needs. Yes, it's like every beat I do is actually me. I mean, every beat, me, 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 um okay um last year 30th december it was uh benediction uh benediction something uh inside some probably did a kotobabi inside like that i forget that that night was like a very nice one i like the whole energy and like the environment it was it was crazy i held the mic they were like this guy he's just like the artist but as I start my music, then do it like, hey, 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 so they pulling out their phone and they just be like, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Charlie, you see, I? So, like, that was our best, like, it'd be crazy, it'd be crazy. I, I still got the video out there, so you can go check it out, Charlie. They do on my Instagram page at JL underscore. It's there, so go check it out. Uh, what's the best thing about being a musician? The best thing about being a musician is, is, is like, you have you have this natural power to talk to people you don't know and people you really want to talk to but you know there's no chance of you meeting them personally that's that's like the power of music you know go see him but he hear what you did talk yeah that's that's like the most nicest thing about being a music aside all the fame, the money, and the challenge, and all that, that's like the strongest side of music. You, you could talk to millions of people within five minutes. You release the song, or boom, people start to listen to it. You know? So that's that's the nicest thing about being, being a musician. It's just, it's just nice. I like it. What's the most difficult thing about being a musician? The most difficult thing about being a musician. religion yeah religion sometimes the music you do the church no you they like stuff like that you, you know that's one uh difficult thing about being a musician too is like um no i've, I've not really thought about that yet but like a private life people will get to know 
your private life is different from a social life being a musician you see you on stage performing smiling and all that but low key sometimes they bleed or you go through something where you don't know, tell anybody but i think the the the, the, the biggest is like religion because you can't be saying as 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 in your music that you come to church so <laughs> so yeah i think i think that'd be it um what's your biggest fear uh, Charlie, this 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 question. I for no, I for I for I for skip this question because I I don't I don't know what I the fear yet. I mean, everybody the fear say you go lose your old boy, you go lose your money and all that. It is also a fear, but that's not my biggest my biggest fear. I don't think it's it's, it's here yet. So I don't really, I don't really give you like a straight answer on that one. Yeah. What's your biggest regret? <laughs> Falling in love with someone. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Falling in love with someone is like biggest regret. Like yeah, because that person like pulled me back to like some some levels are passed, and she dragged me back like no. I really regret like that moment, just that that moment with her. Like she dragged me back. That's like my biggest regret. Like, mm. what song was the most difficult for you to write? Um, no, I haven't had any like difficult song to write. It's it's like a spiritual connection. It just the lyrics just come like that. Unless maybe you want to force yourself to write something be like i don't i don't i don't force myself to write music it just come the beats they play you they write you they write so sometimes you need to relax for like a few hours or even days that you get back to it and you write again yeah i don't really think i have a thought of it like writing music no no it'll be easy it'll be easy what's one of the most fun childhood memories eee, make a pick one i recall <laughs> Look at the quote. Um, yes. So, uh, uh, it was it was me and my my kid brother. It was a Sunday. We go to church like you see my 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 my, my father is the uh, uh, the choir master. Ibo. So he they conduct them since so. so every time we go to church, we are always in the midst of the choir. And we be very young. I think like four years, five years. Me and my little bro, honey boy, shout to you. Then after church. We went back home. I said, like, you feel the guy. Coffee, you know, yeah, homie, giddy, giddy. Um, homie, this me say, Adam, 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 Adam. When we tell him, say, Charlie, and the crowd for the one, yeah, the crowd. Base for the moon, your mamba. Yeah, they need a good base, mom. <laughs> Look at this boy. Five year old, six boy, year old boy. Base people don't count for car. On my told you no. More clear or to be like, yo, that shit was hilarious, man. Yeah. It was crazy like they had so many fun, like fun childhood memories, like yeah. Mm-hmm. We most of the time is this with honey boy, because me the honey boys we we the, we the food, Charlie. We still the food ready. Right? <laughs> so like the memories plenty. I wish I could go back to those days, man. I I don't think about anything, like I just come home, I eat, I go and get myself dirty tomorrow, wash it for me, yeah. That kind of life, I want to go back to back to those days. Like, <laughs> what's your favorite food of all time? Hey, Charlie Fufu. Big shout to Nipa. You know, I Fufu by and big shout to you, Charlie. If you're if you're watching this, Nipa do Fufu by and big shout to you, Charlie. Fufu and then cut and grind and some some chicken. Yeah, heavy. And then you do more honey. What's your favorite movie to watch over and over and over and over again? Money Heist is a series like I like that tense movie. I like it. Yes, Money Heist. I really, I really like. It. It'd be crazy. Mm. But I mean, I watch movie. I need to watch title stuff. So maybe I get some another one. Maybe I don't want to talk, but I forget. But Money Heist is what I want to watch again, like again, again. Yeah. 
what's your level of education in which school okay so um gh media school i mean like uh primary jhs then i went to high school in prior to senior high school and then furthered my education in gh media school i did a full course a diploma course that was um production and what production yeah okay so the next one what's a bad habit you have overcome um i think um i have I've, I've tried to master on my like mental health and physical health so like a bad habit thing is like always looking at the the good side not thinking about the bad sides more uh, also drink bonini papa in afra to make a very good decision in life you know you could think sideways but that's the only bad habit i've, I've overcome but lately i don't miss the gym for I'm overcoming that. So next time you'll be seeing that, I don't work like this. I borrow off. <laughs> All right. What's one thing your mom or dad doesn't understand about you? So there's nothing to hide from them. They are like, my father is like my first God. Even before I go to New Jesus Christ, he's my first God. So he knows everything about me, and I don't, I don't need to hide anything from him. If you be shen a bone person me can I speak to him first, even before my therapist, so they understand everything. There's nothing I, I can hide from them. What's the worst lie you've ever told as a as a kid? <laughs> I know good guy. You're very coffee. Coffee do our calculating stuffs. <laughs> calculating your man over there. I don't know if you tell like I don't know. <laughs> What's the biggest fear when it comes to relationship? Losing trust. Yeah. Biggest fear is like losing trust. Trust is everything. It's the trust is like the most important thing to me. That I love you, I love you thing so the move me. That it doesn't move me anymore. It's the trust. If the trust is built, that's it. So like that would be my biggest fear to lose trust. In you or you lose trust in me, at the fear that can pass. In every relationship, whether a girl relationship or like friendship relationship, the trust is key. Yeah. What's the biggest turn off in a woman? <laughs> See, we all the lie. Yo. But this girls they lie like you like how you girls they lie like that. You catch up I say you don't be happy. It doesn't look what what Oh, it, it's, it's, it's not like what you think. What the what? No, I don't like who they lie like. <laughs> you girls are lie too much. Like, yeah, yes, yeah, so, yes, yeah, so yeah, can't be, but you girls, yeah, uh, bro, I think you need to ask so like, hey. So, I don't like girls with a lie, like, oh, come on. No, no, no. Be turn off for me. What's your favorite song to sing in the shower? Um, Moana. I, I I really like to watch cartoons like yeah so like that Moana um soundtrack the first song on the Moana list I really like to sing that song I'm not in the shower so I can't sing it I don't sing I only sing that song in the shower because it makes me feel like oh. they give me some Chris Brown vibe you're singing me Chris Brown turn you off okay when did you start taking music seriously um okay so officially it's been five years now officially when i say i want to do this everything i want to do the music thing it's been five years now yeah everything started five years ago um when will you release your next okay so the next song release yeah i don't know if we give you like points blank dates but this year, I said, more things do. So, who is me? You for understand, see, they all get more things. Also, me, Casa, like, more things are coming. The bab, the bang is only three, and then, but we aside that other singles we to pass through in the series. So, we watch out, you out. <laughs> Where are you from? Hey, um, I started to be quiet. Yes, that's my my hometown. Mm, I started to be quiet, it's my hometown. I'm from Asante, be quiet. But me, I did a crack. Yeah, I love you, boy.
and how boy living East Legon life. They know it's your talent. Which hood? Oh yeah, are they Alaju? The hood there. Alaju are the rep. You understand? So like, if you see me in Alaju, then lately you guys will see me for Alaju because me are the live East Legon life. You understand me? Hey, but me Alaju boy, are they are they inside? <laughs> Which song from you is your personal favorite and why? This question is a very simple question to answer. The sad man song is my favorite right now. And I think it will be my all-time favorite because I've I felt like I've really touched people with that song. And that's like my highest right now. Big shout out to everybody streaming that song, Charlie. I wrote this this thing with 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 all of me. And what people they go through somewhere else. You know, I've I've really received calls from people like talking about that song. I've really touched people. That's why I feel like and God knows why I wrote that song too. So that's my personal favorite right now. Okay, so who are your best friends? CS, my best friend, Muffin L, or your bar. Mm, they're moving, they're moving, they But we have been friends for like um, um, 15 years plus. Yeah, 15 years plus. And Trap Lord, Trap Lord is a guy, a musician like me. Big shout out to you, everybody did. Yeah, Charlie. So Muffin L and Trap Lord, my best friends. Uh, who in your family are you close to? Honey boy, my kitty brother. <laughs> he's actually my stylist, and like, he's, he's like everything <laughs> to me. This guy, one for this guy, he's a full pass. So, like, that's my friends, like, as a friend, like, that's person for the family inside. Pound my, my kitty bro, like, no, no cap. My stylist, my videographer. Sometimes if all my directors make busy, I just give him camera. He will do one for me. You know, we in the style me so I tell him she be here legitly by honey boy. You understand? So honey boy, big shout out to Who would you most like to collaborate with? Joey B and EO. Asan. In Casa B. Joey B and EO. If I catch these two people on my song, like you will see the L featuring EO. And Joey B. Hey, you boy are dead. You go you go text me, I don't go reply you because I hate. Baza. That's a Joey B I go like to go like to work with Joey B. Just that's I don't know. I don't know. I don't have to talk plenty on this day. Do you have any advice for aspiring musicians? Oh <laughs> um get rich first. Mm. <laughs> yes, that's why music go, bro. So I like your hard, my bro. It'd be crazy, man. If you don't get money, <laughs> not do the music. Cause plenty of people start their show I'm sick of money. You don't get money, you go pay for studio time. You don't get money, you go pay a um, uh, uh, director or stylist or Charlie. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you say show, but you they do one, um, but you, you need to get rich like yes, Kabi. And son, I was starting music because if you start the music thing you are planning to make you rich, you know, go actually drain you. It will drain you. So you for day guard. I mean, yes, it may boo up, but like it be, it's just like the metrics. That's it. You know what can change it. If you don't have money, unless some grace can hit your top, then boom, you go like that. But it's it hard. It's hard. So keep pushing. If you are doing the music, write it, write it with you from the chest. You are writing it as a man, as a girl. Write it. Make sure you are talking to people. Play any content. Talk to the people you want to talk to. Write the song all out. Don't even miss. That's the advice I'll give to aspiring musicians, whether old or young. <laughs> you like to give a freestyle? Oh, uh, oh yes. They all come. They have, have a give freestyle. So you ready? Mm-hmm. Just already, yeah, nah. some 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 people they think something about you. Let's go. If you ask me, L, oh, do you want the table or the London style? Anyhow, anyway, all I know is a plan to break your back. You sound too squeaky, bad girl. Please shut your mouth. Or oh, you want water? Come on, girl. Plenty day the fridge inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's a bad freestyle, but I live. Are you? We may we may stream the sound. <laughs> Hey, we may stream me sounds there. Uh, more, more, more lyrics to my side, like you know what I mean. So Charlie, 
uh shouts okay so i'm gonna give shouts to um my stylist honey boy big shouts to tiger my high school brother big shouts to pink code big shouts to don diego de azambuja <laughs> this is the did Charlie. and to all my industry players um goodness search all the boys in the greatness music yard milona k flip young gates kkt and um k ken all my industry partners they shout out to everybody Charlie. and moon streaming the songs everywhere on all the social media platform as j l j a y e r l you will see me everywhere google if you want my pictures if you want my information just type my name for google i will appear for the involved so i think that's it the questions are the coming in so i need to sign out big shout out to everybody charlie 99 questions greatness we day inside I don't got my mind. We don't scroll and pass, so we don't tap.